Okay, so four days ago, Doja Cat released the song Demons. And apparently it's the number one trending music video worldwide. Disturbing. It is not a coincidence that she released this music video and now it is the number one trending song. There is a spiritual meaning behind this. I made a video talking about how more and more people are going to spiritually awake because the veil is thinning. People's third eye is now opening and now people can see others shapeshift or see other different entities or hyperdimensional entities or even aliens. Now why is Hollywood, especially the music entertainment, being so bold about this? I mean, I have not seen such a bold music video. And people are going to be like, oh, she's just trolling you. No, this has been going on throughout music history in Hollywood. I mean, look at all of the other mainstream music videos like Beyonce and with like the Illuminati triangle symbol. Come on. Doja is not trolling you. She's rubbing it in your face, hoping that you think it's so ridiculous that you don't actually think it's true, but it's true. They are now being so bold with it because with the veil thinning and people's consciousness starting to expand, they can't hide themselves any longer. There is no such thing as cloaking anymore. And guess what? They're also tired of hiding. Now, do not let the word demon scare you. They, the people in charge, they love to scare you with the words demons, fallen angels. As a psychic medium who can see both angels and demons, Hence why the, we use the word medium. We're literally in between realms. Let me tell you, when I say angels' energies are much more terrifying than a demon. Demons have a very mischievous, or mischievous, however you pronounce it, energy to them. They feed off of your fear, your panic, your anxiety. They also feed off of your imbalanced root chakra. This is why people who have addictions, they have demonic attachments because they're addicted to alcohol or sex or drugs. They have an imbalanced root chakras, demons attached to your chakras through your astral body. But demons are parasites. Most of them are, at least. Without your energy or other entities' energies, they are not able to survive. They have to eat off of something. If you're going through the spiritual awakening and you have, you know, suffered through sleep paralysis or you're starting to see these apparitions and demons, do not be afraid of them. As an experienced psychic medium who has been seeing this shit for four or five years now. The best way to handle these demons, if you see one or you sense one, is to stand your ground. Now there are different rankings of demons. Certain demons are weak, certain demons are stronger. When you stand your ground, you can calibrate just how strong that demon is. Usually if it's a weak demon and you stand your ground and you try not to show fear, it will stop bothering you. But if it's a more powerful demon or a higher ranking demon, even if you don't show fear and you try to stand your ground, it's still gonna try to attack you. When you're dealing with a higher rank demon, at that point, it's really up to chance. And I, and I really hope none of you get attacked by them. Because a lot of us, because we're human, we have a lot of traumas, right? Like I said, demons attached to your chakras. If you are not a balanced individual who has done their shadow work, it's going to be very hard for you to fight off a high level demon. Think of it this way, your body has a natural immune system, right? Certain parasites or viruses or bacteria, your body can fight off quite easily. But if the virus, bacteria, or parasite is much more powerful than the last one, your body will suffer longer and you actually might have to go to the hospital for that. Use this analogy for real life. If you feel like there's a demonic attachment on you that is so strong that you cannot get rid of, go to a trusted, well-known spiritual practitioner. Because a lot of spiritual practitioners, the wise ones, right, wise sages, they are usually enlightened souls that have managed to escape the matrix and they decided to come back down here to do basically like charity work to help save the rest of humanity. There is a reason why the Western media, especially the Western media, the entertainment industry is promoting all of these drugs and sex and all that. It's because they want these demons to attach to you. They want you to be weak and they want you to have weak spiritual boundaries. Everything in moderation. If you get addicted to anything, you're on a slippery slope. This is a very last minute video, but I just had to put this out there. Oh, and I forgot to add, if you have a very high spiritual rank, so your higher self is of a very powerful origin, for example, Archangel Azrael or uh, the Orifims, and only you will know that through your spiritual path. If you ever encounter a very powerful jinn or demon, you're actually more powerful than it is. And I've fought one off um, in my recent past and all I did was when I, it was during sleep paralysis and it was trying to charge at me and its hand was reaching out to get me. 
And usually these demons will manifest as your worst fears. And my worst fear was the grudge. And my astral body literally reached out and grabbed the grudge's neck like this. And I started siphoning her energy and I alchemized it and I spit it back out like a ball of white light. And this all happened during my sleep paralysis. I wasn't really conscious of it. My astral body was doing it. But this takes a lot of practice. I'm not new to the spiritual path. I've been doing this for like five years now. Also, be careful what kind of music you listen to because like I showed you in the beginning, the Doja Cat song. Why do you think it's called spell work? You're spelling out words. Words have frequency and energy. If you listen to certain music and you have weak spiritual boundaries or you have traumas that you have not healed through shadow work, demons can actually transfer onto you through music alone. And this is possible because everything is energy and frequency. And this is possible because everything is energy and frequency. Why do you think in haunted houses, especially in those movies, the TV turns on by itself or the radio turns on by itself? Spirits or jinns or demons work through electricity. Have discernment. The spiritual world is extremely complex. Don't underestimate anybody or anything.